next thing we're going to explore tonight is the cross stitch wizard. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I remember these beautiful cross stitched um, quilts that my aunts used to make. <clears throat> they would hand cross stitch these beautiful quilt, embroidery quilt blocks, and then turn these blocks and then turn them into these beautiful quilts. They'd also use cross stitching on napkins and handkerchiefs. You know, I don't know if anybody even uses, does anybody use handkerchiefs anymore? Other than a bandana for your head. <laughs> but I always loved, loved a good handkerchief myself, a nice linen one. Anyway, cross stitching, how it makes it so easy to create a cross stitch embroidery design. Check this out real quick. Yes. Okay. So we're going to click on this icon here, the cross stitch wizard. This will create a color cross stitch embroidery pattern from an image. So we're going to click on that. And then you have three choices full color, sepia toned, or just a gray. So I'm going to select color. Excuse me. And then we're going to select one of these other designs. Let's do the squirrel. I got to tell y'all, we have so many squirrels on our property. We have these big, huge trees that are, some of them I know are at least 150 years old. They're enormous. And we have a lot of squirrels that come to, come to visit us every day at the, at, around the house. Anyway, so here's this cute squirrel. Now, I could have pulled this up in the auto punch, but this time we're going to explore how to create cross stitch embroidery designs. So I'm just click on next. And once again, these are, are kind of familiar now. I'm gonna fit it to our page simply because I want us to be able to see it. Maybe I wouldn't want a nine by eight inch squirrel. Maybe I do. Think of a quilt, think quilt blocks, if nothing else, or maybe on a towel or, Maybe you're going to on a backpack or a tote bag. Anyway, click on next. And now it's creating it. And here, this box here is where you can create the size of the cross stitches. So one tenth of an inch, those are tiny little cross stitches. I'm going to leave that alone for now. We're going to come back and we're going to change some of these things so that you can see the difference. I'm going to leave everything the same and click on next. And then cross stitch time, single, double, triple. What that means is each cross stitch would be either a single layer or a double layer of thread or a triple layer of thread depending the effect you're going after. I know a lot of vintage cross stitches sometimes were double or even triple. If you were using by hand, of course, real heavy embroidery floss, you might do a single cross stitch for that. I'm gonna leave it on single for right now. That's in the back stitch times, same way. We're just gonna leave everything at single for this, this one. And then display template. If you click on that, what that is, that is all this cross hatching here. I'm just going to turn that off and we're going to hit finish. We're going to let it do its thing. And there is now an actual stitch out in cross stitches single. So notice it's got one, two, three six different areas across color, think color changes as well. So there that is. If we go to view, and I have it on realistic mode, okay? We turn it on to stitch mode, let's do that. See if it changes, what about solid? So it really doesn't look any difference between the three different view, viewpoints right here. But with it right here, these would be tiny little, little cross stitches. Remember that. 
So to get a more photorealistic view, the tinier the stitch, the more detail it will show. So keep this one in mind right here, okay? And you can do this at home, home as well, but I'm gonna clear this. I'm not gonna save it. And I'm gonna go back to Cross Stitch Wizard, color. We're gonna select that squirrel again, but we're gonna change some of the settings on it this time. Then we're gonna to go, to, go to next, fit to page, next. Let it do its thing. What we're gonna change on this screen is the size of the cross stitch. Nope, we're gonna leave that the same for this one. I'm gonna change that on our next round through. Next. And then under cross stitch times, I'm gonna select triple. I'm not gonna change that one there. And I'm gonna select finish. And it's working on it. What this would actually do though, and it kind of looks very much similar to the previous one. However, it will be three times the amount of stitching as the previous example, which would actually make it look much more pronounced as a stitch out. So as a viewpoint right down here in this stitch out is 55,000 stitches. Before it was only around 19. So we're gonna clear this one out again though. I'm not gonna save any changes. And we're gonna select cross stitch wizard again. And color. Go down to that squirrel. Hit open. Not changing any of this. Click on next. Fit to page. Next. This time I'm changing the size of the cross stitch. So a tenth of an inch. Let's go up. Let's go up to 0.2. How high can we go up? That's the largest we can make. We definitely made it bigger. See how it lost some of the lines aren't as smooth? That's because those are a fifth of an inch. Let's drop it down to 0.15. Okay, and then we're going to do next. We'll come back and do the point two to see the largest cross stitches that we'll make. And now we're going to do next. Now I'm just going to leave them at single and click finish. And now you can actually see the cross stitches on the screen. I'm going to zoom in. And now you can actually, when you zoom in, you can actually see how much larger those cross stitches are. Pretty cool. Let's go back to fit it to the screen right here. And now I'm going, just going to clear that out and we're gonna change it one more time. And this, I'm doing this so you can kind of see the difference between those settings because depending what you're, you're gonna use it for, you might, if you're gonna leave it at 0 0.10, that was, would be if you're wanting to get the most photorealistic cross stitch available. If you're wanting something not as photorealistic, you can change the size of it and get a really cool effect in and of itself. So we're gonna go back to image, cross stitch wizard, color, squirrel, open. And we're gonna click on next, fit to page and next. And this time we're gonna make it as the largest cross stitch size we can make, 0 0.20. And we're gonna hit next. And then we're just gonna click on finish. Now I can visually tell, and I don't even have my glasses on, that these are oh so much larger. Let's go to home and I'm gonna click on it and make it bigger so you can see it. 
But there you go. You can still tell that that's an acorn and there's the little squirrel's eyes and everything, but much larger stitching. This is the size stitching I would personally do for like a tote bag or even a kitchen towel, perhaps. Something to play with, something to experiment with. And once again, this is just any, all you would do is, is either scan this image in on a scanner into your computer or take a photo of it with your phone and get it into your computer that way. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna clear that one out again. And we're gonna go back to image. And just to show you something different, instead of color, I'm gonna select sepia tone. And I'm gonna do that squirrel again, just so you can see what those two settings, which how it would change it. Open. Notice there's no more reds. What sepia tone does, think of an old tin type photograph, and that's what a sepia tone is. It kind of mutates, it, it takes all the bright colors out and makes it more of a muted color. So I'm gonna click on next, fit to page, next, next, and finish. So all it did, it just changed the color of it. And that's all that this does up here. You go to that cross stitch wizard, then it would just gray it out instead of sepia tone. That'd be like a monotone. Where a sepia will have more than one color. If we go to gray, notice now the bell, these are just shades of gray. So that's what the gray, the gray does. It monotones it down to nothing but a gray image. Depending on the colors, I'm gonna cancel this, of your original artwork, <clears throat> excuse me, depending on the colors of the original artwork are the colors that a sepia tone would change into that couple's color groupings. Okay. 